Ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, Tom Cultiviano. I had mentioned to you before about how serious CBS is about all of this talk show stuff. Uh, they weren't kidding. They actually made me, true, they actually made me rehearse bringing a guest over to the desk. So I had uh, one of the writers rehearse with me earlier today, uh, and I'm glad I did because I had to work out some kinks. <clears throat> Action. Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest, John Doe. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, man. Good to see you. Okay. Good to see you. You're very attractive. I didn't. I didn't meet you before. Thank you. Yeah. I and I and I've been looking at Ray Romano. So the contrast. The, A little the, different. The, the, the A contrast different. is almost shocking. Really? Yeah. Uh, I should now, walk around with him everywhere I go. And I I do that. It you helps. Do. Yeah. It's going very well. Yeah. This is, as, as well as this, this interview is going very well. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going swell. It is. Wait, were you worried that it wasn't going to go well? I was a little worried. Why? Because you didn't know who I was? <laughs> Did they... You're very, I like, you're very cute, though. You're very cute and very I'm, funny, and, and you have the whole... Yeah. I think it's the desk. I think the desk helps, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say have been together, but no, have not been together, but as friends, have known each other yes. for 17 years. Well, we now, met in stand-up comedy, and then he became a writer on Raymond. Right. right, and when you first went out on the road, you took Tom, but you didn't take your wife, Anna. Did she get jealous? She didn't get jealous of him. She got jealous uh, in case he so, brought a girlfriend yeah. home or something. Yeah. By the way, wh why do I have to sit next to Ray? Couldn't I sit between Meredith and... Yeah, we should be oh, wouldn't that be, uh, <laughs> 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 I, Can I sit there? Well, let me set the record straight, Tom, because if you heard in the how opening how monologue... My knee. Yeah. <laughs> if you heard the elbow monologue, she doesn't date anymore, and they, none of them like porn, so you have nothing to say. Okay, don't switch. No, no, I actually came out in favor. Oh, right. yeah. 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 Listen carefully. Yeah. But if you listen carefully, she said if it was someone she might marry, she would then go I out would with date them. them. Mm, so right. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. Why won't you switch? Just stay where you are. Uh, you want? Yeah. I'll yeah. Let's switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is my comfort zone. We, we flew to Miami, and then we drove every city up into Savannah, Georgia. Did you like Georgia. Miami? I'm from Miami. I live there. Uh, we love Miami. <laughs> <laughs> you would think at least he would try and go, oh, you know what? I guess I misread the signals. Exactly. When you said, would you like something to drink? That must be her code for would you like to start without me and get it going. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> And at what point do you go, that's it? Uh. I looked in the mirror one day and didn't know who I was. I literally woke up one day and looked in the mirror and went, who are you? Because you had been here, can you do, Be absolutely. Can you do this? Absolutely. My self-esteem had been shot down for a very long time. And he was constantly criticizing you? Or Everything. Putting you down? I wouldn't be doing this correctly. Yeah, you so. are kind of screwing this up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be like, all right, sure. And then when they cross the line, then you say, hey guy, back up off it. Are you talking to me now? No, okay. I'm saying. <laughs> did you see the view, Orly? I did. I made it. <laughs> <laughs>